will turn out at this time, at this very point that I'm talking to you. It might turn out good or it might end up being a waste of time. So in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to make a wig with just one bundle of hair. Yes. So this is the uh, the bundle that is left from the blue wig I made a few months ago. The blue wig with a frontal. So the hair came with three bundles in a frontal. But I only used two bundles for that wig. And so this is what's left from the hair I bought. So I don't want this to go to waste and so I figure I'll do something with it. I don't know how this will turn out at this time, at this very point that I'm talking to you. It might turn out good or it might end up being a waste of time. Again, I'm not sure. So with that said, let's go on this adventure together, okay? <laughs> Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully. Finger crossed. Uh, <laughs> I'm, whole, I'm really hoping this will be good but with what I have in mind on how I'm going to be constructing this wig it might turn out to be good we'll see Okay, so to dye the hair, I'm putting the color inside the water. So next, I'm adding conditioner. Disclaimer, I'm not teaching you how to water dye your hair. I'm still learning. So this is kind of an experiment. So yeah, so make sure you learn from the right person on how to dye uh, hair, how to dye hair using watercolor. Okay, so I had to transfer the color water into a bucket because I wasn't ready to dye my green and uh yellow wall into blue so yeah Okay, so I went ahead and uh, used a hand dryer to dry the hair off camera. So this is the hair, although it's not fully dry yet. And yes, I know the coloring job look a hot mess. But I'm still learning how to properly use the watercolor method. So luckily for me, I'm going to be cutting this hair short. So thank God. <laughs> so make sure you learn from the right person on how to use the watercolor method. Okay, so since I'm working with just one bundle of hair, I'm going ahead to open up the weft. So I'm splitting the weft. So this is a double weft hair. So before going ahead to take a razor to start chopping off your weft, you want to make sure that it's a double weft. Okay, so once you've made sure of that, you want to go ahead and uh, separate it. And also you want to make sure to take your time with this process. You don't want to rush it and you don't want to end up with little pieces all over the place. So try your best to keep it whole as much as you can. So again, don't rush it. Take your time and gently separate the weft. So right there. All good to go. 
All right, so I've already went ahead and uh, cut out the one, the one that I'm going to be using for the lace part of the cap. So there you go. I cut a little bit out. So this would be for the lace, um, for the lace part of the wig. So you want to make sure to take that and keep it aside and work with whatever is left of the uh, of the weft. Okay. So yeah. All right, so I've already went ahead and uh, pinned the lace in place. So right now, I'm just going ahead to sew down the lace. So guys, I went ahead and uh, used some paint to paint the weft in place. So for the back, I gave it a lot of space, just a uh, half an inch space in between the track. And um, just to make sure that my plan for this one bundle wig situation will work. So that's why I went ahead and uh, painted in place first before going ahead to sew it down. So, so far my plan is looking good. So. So after pinning it in place, I have a little bit of hair left. What this means is that before I get to the end of the, if I get to the lace, I need to double the weft. Okay, so, so this gives me an idea and also let me know that I will have enough hair to close up the space and also enough hair to close the, the track that you can see right here. So by doubling the two, the, the last two track, will help to do that. So I just went ahead and uh, pin the place and uh, minus this part right here that I've already cut out. Okay, so now that we have that cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove all the pins and uh, begin sewing. Again, let me just lift this up so that way you guys can see it. I gave it a lot of space because you have to learn to work with what you have. And in order to do that, you have to know how to manipulate the hair in order to get exactly what you want. So you can see the space right here. So when I'm going to, to cut the hair in order for the weft or for the track not to show, I'm going to have to bring it down like cut three, three track at a time. So that gives you the nice and even thickness in order to cover the bottom layer. Let's say for example, so you can see right here, you can see this part right here, right? You can see the three track right here. So by taking the three track on top, and cutting it a little bit longer than this three track on the bottom we have to cover up the uh the space if that makes sense yeah okay so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the pins and uh i begin sewing down the uh the tracks okay so this part right here will be straight and this one right here will be coming towards the the front Okay guys, let's begin. So again, this side will be coming towards the front and this other side will be straight. So what I'm going to do, the first track, I'm going to be starting it from here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and uh, pin that down. So I'm pinning it along the edge. right so right here I'm not so so for this side right I'm not going to be taking it all the way to the top because this part right here will be laying flat and straight so the other side will be falling towards the front while this side will falling towards the side so right here I'm gonna take the pin pin it right there and pin it right right here Okay, so I'm going to try to gauge the space between here, so I'm going to try to gauge the space between here, okay, and here, and the space between here and here, alright, okay, so I'm going to stop right here just before the ear, I'm going to stop before the ear, okay, so what you can do if your mannequin head doesn't have the ear so what you can do you need to measure your own head okay so measure from where you want the cap the okay why am I gonna explain this 
So let's say for example, your mannequin head doesn't have the ear to let you know where to stop. So what you can do, you can put the wig on and mark it while, you, while the wig is on your head and you can put it back on the mannequin head just to uh, give you an idea on where to stop this, this first track. Okay, so again this side will be falling towards the side and the other side will be falling towards the front. Okay, alright, so... Now that I have that pin in place, I'm going to take my needle and thread and start from here. So for today's video, usually I will do like the fold over method. But for today and because I'm working with just one bottle of hair and I want this hair to lay flat. And I want this hair to lay flat. So I'm going to be cutting the weft from here to here. From Starting from here to the other side, I'm going to be cutting the weft. Okay, so because I want it to lay flat all the way around. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to again jump into this whole situation and begin sewing. Okay, I'm going to start from here, the end of the lace. And I'm going to first of all secure the thread. Hold on, I think this side needs to be pinned down. Okay, so first I'm going to secure the thread in place. Okay, so now that that is done gonna go ahead and sew down the hair wrap this needle around and sew it down so as you can see right here I want the, the web to lay flat so I'm using my thumb to kind of guide it so I saw this prevented from moving while you're trying to pull on the thread okay so I just press it down so the beginning is uh, secured in place all right so now that that is secured in place I'm gonna sew that again just to make sure it's properly secured okay so just like that now that this part is secured I can just take this pin out so I'm going to be removing the pin as I go and just pin on the main cap. So I'm going to pin, remove the pin, pin it on top. So this had to maintain the shape of the wig. So just like that. Again, I'm just using my fingers to press it down so that way it will lay flat. So I'm going to be doing that along the edge of this wig. So now... this off camera and I'll be back once I'm done with this side okay when, or when it's time to uh, cut the weft so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, turn that off okay so getting to the end of the track before going ahead to cut it I'm gonna sew this I'm gonna sew it close together just to make sure that everything will be secured in place you can see along this edge I give it space so right here, getting close to the end where I'm going to be cutting the first track, I'm going to be sewing it together and using the double knot method to secure the weft in place. So, so to do that, I'm going to take the needle, pass it through the, the loop on the thread one time, again, rotate it around, pass it through the loop, okay, that's the double knot, and pull on it to secure it in place. So I only do the double knot method when I get to the, the, the end of the track or at the beginning of the track. Again, sewing it close together. One, two, and pull to secure. So I'm going to take that and cut it. Okay, just like that. So next, Again, using my thumb, I'm going to press that down because I want it to lay flat. 
Okay. So now I'm going to place the second track. Make sure to put, take the needle and try to push it towards the top like that. So now I'm going to take this, place it few like well just place it a little bit past the end of this one just like that you see that okay so next I'm gonna take the pin and pin it in place I'm gonna pin it in place like that and I'm gonna take this again pinning all the way around making sure to give the space the exact space I gave before I gave before when pinning it down so now I'm going to pin it all the way to the other side. So getting to the end of this track, I'm going to be placing it close together. Place it close together so you give less space at the end. And pin that in place. So I don't cut it after pinning it down. I only cut the weft after I'm done sewing down. After I'm done sewing down the track. So because sometimes it takes to shift. So I want every piece of hair or every piece of the track or where to however you want to place it so I don't want anything to go to waste okay so you see right here right here as you can see the space I give right here is not that much you see just a tiny bit of space but on the back because we have more space to work with on the back let me zoom out. So, so at the back, you need to give it more space. Okay, getting close to the end of the track, you need to pin it close together because we only have less space to work with, a lot of space to work with. Okay, so now that I'm done pinning it down, I'm just place this pin somewhere. So I'm going to remove this pin right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, sew down this very one. So down the track again, we're going to take that as it through the cap, making sure that it's close to the edge of the cap. Doing the double knot, I'm going to hold it down using my thumb like that. Okay, and do another one. Okay, so I'm almost done with the uh, the sewing part. Right now, I'm just going ahead to uh, double the weft. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut it into two. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pin it in place. All right, so right now I'm taking my pin and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pin the track down and also making sure that I'm pinning both of the track in place. Just pin that in place. As you can see, I'm following the shape of the wig. And I'm just going to pin it all the way to the other side.
Okay, again, I'm showing you guys at the end of the track, as you can see right there, I'm pinning it close together. All right. Next, I'm going ahead with my needle in trade and uh, sewing that down. Okay, pay attention to the last track. Pay attention to how I'm placing the last track. Okay, so as you can see right there, doing the same thing, making sure I paint both weft in place. You seeing how I'm placing the, uh, the hair? So because you want to make sure that you cover up that very spot. Okay, so right there, I'm going ahead to paint it in place. Also making sure I'm painting both weft in place. Well, Okay, so moving on, I'm going ahead to sew down the last track and also using the same method. I'm going to be using my fingers to press that part down so that way it will lay flat. Again, right here, I'm gonna use my fingers to press that very point down so that way it will lay flat. And press it down. All right, all done. So I've done, I'm done sewing down the, uh, the tracks. So the next step now is to create the uh, closure part. Okay, so you want to start by taking your scissors and cut out the hair from the weft. So next, you want to take your comb and comb out all the short hair. Okay, just like that. Okay, so once that is done, you want to go ahead and take a little bit of the hair and fold it over just like this. So you want to have a short end and a long end, just like that. Okay, so next, you want to take your hook. So Right here, I'm taking a tiny crochet hook and I'm passing it through the lace. So next, I'm going to hook two strands of hair and pass it through the lace. Using the hook, I'm going to hook the hair and pass it through the loop, just like that. Again, I'm going to take the tiny crochet hook, pass it through the lace, hook two strands of hair, then pass it through just like that. Okay, so to avoid uh, ripping the lace, when passing the crochet hook through the lace, you want to gently rotate the crochet hook left and right while pushing it through gently. Okay, just like that. Okay, so once that is done, go ahead and hook two strands of hair. Again, you don't want to just pull it through. You want to take your time and gently, if you need to rotate it again, left and right, in order to pull it through, go ahead and do that. Don't rush the process. So by doing this, we help you to avoid ripping the lace. Okay, so this is how the hair is looking so far. Okay, one more thing I want to add to this video is that you can use whatever hook that you feel comfortable using. You can use the tiny crochet hook or you can use the ventilating needle. Okay, so for this video, I use both of the hook, like the tiny crochet hook and the ventilating needle. So doing the same thing, I pass the ventilating needle through the lace and hook two strands of hair. So next, I pull it through and to secure it in place. So for the ventilating needle, when using the ventilating needle, you want to pass the ventilating needle, needle through the lace, hook two strands of hair. So before pulling it through, you want to rotate the ventilating needle upside down, then pass it through the loop, then pull it through the loop. Okay, again, you can use the tiny crochet hook or you can use the ventilating needle. You can use whatever hook or needle you feel comfortable using. So whatever hook you choose to use, that's up to you. That's your decision to take. So use whatever that feels comfortable to you. Okay.
Okay, so let's talk about the color of this hair. First, I want to say I love the color, all right? So if you don't like the color, that's okay, all right? You can use whatever color you want for your wig. All I'm doing in this video, I'm showing you how to make a wig using only one bundle, not how to dye your hair or what color you should use for your wig. I'm not telling you to use this as a color. This is what I want. So that's why I use it. So if you don't like it, that's fine. Use whatever color you want. Okay, so moving on to the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut off the excess lace from the front. So I'm just trimming and tracing along the hairline. okay i'm almost done <laughs> so here's how the hair is looking before going ahead to cut it so i have a separate video that is already up right now showing you guys how i cut the wig so i'll put the link in the description box down below so be sure to check the description box down below if you want to know how i cut this wig so yeah And also in that video, I use a styling mousse to uh, kind of mold the hair to keep it straight like this. So what I did, I just applied the styling mousse and just let it air dry overnight. Okay, so this is the next day and I'm ready to put on the wig. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, I'm not going to be adding elastic to this wig because it's already like a fitted wig. So as you can see right there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be applying makeup on the lace part of the wig. Okay, so next right now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pop on the wig. okay i'm done and i love it <laughs> i love it it's so fun it's a fun color and also it's easy to put on it's kind of on the go kind of hairstyle i love it <laughs> all right guys so we have come to the end of the video and the one bundle wig was a success what what <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for popping by today i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel and you love what you see today please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you are already subscribed to my channel thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for popping by today and uh, i'll see you all in my next one enjoy your weekend guys